YouTube. Hey, video gaming news of the week. Let's go. Overwatch is reintroducing their 6v6. 6v6 is back to Overwatch, baby. I know um, I've been playing a little bit of Overwatch um, and I kind of miss the format. 6v6, kind of nice that they're adding it back. I haven't really looked too much into this one. I don't know if it's the two tank meta is back or the two tank um, strat is back. I, I, I don't know. But if it plays anything like a good old classic Overwatch one, I'm, I'm excited, you know. Bring it back, maybe seasonal and, or, or leave it in permanently. I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to it. Um, Sega files its own patent lawsuit. Oh, that's something that's happening right now, chat. A month after Nintendo's Power World lawsuit, Sega files its own patent infringement claim against idle RPG devs at Gotcha um, Mechanics. Um, I don't know what this is all about, but um, again, I'll, I'll, if you guys want more information about any of these weekly news, you can click down in the description below and get more uh, of your fill. Um, Riot MMO is hiring now. Um, so the latest scoop on the whole Riot MMO is that they are opening their um, team to hiring more employees for their new MMO that's exciting so I guess it's not dead I still think big prediction hot take prediction here that the game will never be released I think that they're going to turn this project into something else um I don't think the MMO uh, from Riot is ever going to happen just throwing that out there wild take but I don't think it is ever going to happen but you know what if it does that's kind of cool i'm looking forward to it let's see what um the riot can do when it comes to mmos they've done it for fps's they've done it for um fps hero shooter to like um moba so i don't know maybe this is something that can really break through and break new ground throne and liberty news um if you guys played a throne and liberty kind of left off because the game has no content it's become a little bit more stale especially if you're just a pve enjoyer um there were some pretty um scummy predatory almost um bigger pay to win stuff that the west hasn't been released uh has not released with yet which is going to change by the time that content does release to the west it will be changed so a lot less um pay to win um tico um their community manager of sorts or somebody who works there i don't know um he came out with his a uh, weekly or you know his a uh, talk with it uh, um on youtube describing the future of the game and i don't know chat i think it's nice i've always said it TNL Throne of Liberty is uh, a very mid game and I don't mid mid by uh, when I say mid I don't think that the game is dog uh, I think the game is pretty okay it's decent um, and that's what I mean when I say mid nothing you're missing out on if you don't play it and also not like you're gonna have an unfun time if you do play it I think Throne of Liberty is a great game to pick up and it's even better news now knowing that they're actually listening and willing to adjust their content for the West I think that's amazing uh, I still log in from time to time to get my little fill and uh, do some of my dailies I'm looking forward to future stuff from Throne of Liberty Path of Exile delayed there you have it delays and more delays they should really call it path of delay because they have been delaying all the time path of exile 2 has delayed their um early access or beta or whatever they're taunting this to be um they're delayed it again by three weeks i believe ah, which you know not too bad if you've already waited this long might as well wait again uh it's a little bit of a bummer i want to really play the game and i'm going to go hard on that maybe i get to check you guys over at twitch.tv forward slash ellie but path of exile 2 has been slightly delayed by three weeks uh, am i doing this uh, reporter thing uh, good can i i could try a little bit better chat here here we go concord finally shuts down concord developers um are being closed off sony says no more and decided to shut down the studio 
Um, there were rumors uh, about Concord making a comeback and possibly coming back on Steam as a free-to-play game with maybe some microtransactions is what people reported or rumored on, but Sony ultimately put the dog down. Sony took Concord in the back and just shot it right there. No more Concord. The studio is shut down. Um, uh, Ashes of Creation released with their latest um, alpha. People who have bought in earlier into this scam get to play Ashes of Creation. Hey, you're looking at one right now. I definitely paid around $400 for the beta, for the alpha. And I must tell you guys, and this is going to be a hot take. If you, uh, if you are in Ashes of Creation, Andy, put your little helmet on. The game is dog. Like, I've been hearing people cope to all end about Ashes of Creation. Dude, what I played, the server stability and everything is just bad. No way is this game ready to release in one year, two years, three years, four years time? There is so much that they still need to adjust in the game. Granted, I did not reach level 25 or anything. I just didn't want to. It felt so bad, unplayable. I'm going to try it again this weekend to really try to sink in there and really force myself to enjoy it past, uh, you know, what the level that I got to. But it's just really hard and really um it's unbearable i'm gonna give it anything anywhere from voice acting voice lines um uh, um uh, performance optimization i'll give it credit I'll, I'll give it some positive the the art design is pretty good you know that there's this like two br there's this long bridge the the verticality of the game uh, there's this bridge that is held by two like uh, lion pillars look really great so the attention to detail as far as like um, uh, scenery and environment is is there um, so if there's any potential from that perspective like um, I'm game for music and um, the scenery the scenic the environments I like I, I want more of that and I want I, I want to give it a chance just because of that but everything else that I played is just not in innovative really bad optimized which you know what to cut them some slack is it is alpha however though when you're taking people's money there's a level uh, there's a standard eight years and continuously taking money from people this is your chance to show what you got and to me they fumbled this is definitely not cool um, anyways, moving on, um, I believe that, um, the TFD developers came out with a question, uh, Q and A, which re really, really, really seemed nice. They talked about a bunch of stuff that they are planning to introduce for season two, including two new descendant, male and female, and, uh, an ultimate descendant, uh, additionally on season two reworking this reworking that more monsters more cosmetics more they hired more people added more people on the team and more people to work on different hairstyles as well um this is from their latest q and a i'm really 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 happy with that team i cannot tell you how underrated that is I'll also adjusting the prices of um, a bunch of their cosmetics and separating from bundles not trying to drive fomo anymore I don't know i think the game is doing pretty good and that team is really really awesome um but you know good going back to the path of exile 2 news i'm kind of a little bit happy not all bad that the game is delayed by three weeks because i get to play f uh, the new farming simulator farming simulator on november 15 uh monster hunter wilds open beta comes out for pc in um like now it should it should be now open um beta for monster hunter wilds try it out download it if you like it then you get to pick it up on february but the open beta will be available for everybody to try out i'm super excited about that and um i think this um 
think this brings us to an end here. So what are some news that, that I've missed out? Oh, the $90 mount for World of Warcraft. It seems to be working wonders for Blizzard. Um, Blizzard has been doing really, really good. Um, tokens have been selling out. Um, people mad, happy. Uh, cosmetics should not have practicality in the game they should not have like you know the access to the auction house and mailing i don't know where do you fall in the microtransactions um debate for me chad i'm gonna sound like a defeatist attitude mentality here but i don't care at the end of the day i don't really care um if you can spin spin if you don't and you can't you won't then don't uh, that's where I sit on it. I'm kind of in the middle. Maybe I am part of the problem, but I don't. I don't know. Like this is this has been games for a long time now. And uh, yeah, so tell me, what do you guys think? Any gaming news that I left out? And I'll see you guys on the next video. Uh, how did that wink? Uh, yeah. Ugh. You're still here. Well, I guess just hit that subscribe button, yeah? Come on. Don't make me say it again. Please.